Hello, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be featuring the SID-31, the Tick Tree uh, Tier 7 German Destroyer. And unlike the ZF-6, which I actually considered a very good destroyer, this thing is an absolute trash can. Uh, there is really no other way of describing it. We can get the good parts out of the way, uh, namely that the, fact that, the, the fact that the ship has a lot of health. That is the upside. It has 19.4k base health. It's not as much as the Z39, uh, but it is more than basically all the competition. That's kind of where the bright sides end. In terms of speed, well, you don't get access to a speed boost. So even with the speed flag, you can only do 37.8 knots. And I really tried to find another tier 7 destroyer that was slower, and I couldn't. The closest we get is the Jervis, that also does 37.8 knots. Ships like Mayhem do almost 40, uh, Akatsuki with speed boost and such does 43, even the Leberecht Maas does 42, Z39 can do 41 with it, all the bonuses. So in terms of speed, uh, 37.8, it is the slowest and that's as fast as you're gonna get. In terms of base concealment, well, um, you have seven, then of course you run the captain as I'm running here, so you can get it down to maybe a slightly more respectable value of uh, 6.3, but sadly this is nowhere near enough to make up for all the various downsides that this ship has. The ship is, in terms of HEDPM, which you can probably see right now, it is tragic. That is, that is really the best way of putting the HEDPM. It is absolutely tragic. In fact, I tried really... First, I compared the HEDPM to the other tier 7 ships, and I realized that there's literally no point, because it gets so horrendously outmatched. We are talking completely horrendously, ridiculously outmatched. This ship has 51,000 HEDPM. To put that into perspective, um, a Mayhan has 164,000 HEDPM. More than triple. In fact, even the worst HEDPM, something like a Udachi at 72 or Z39 at 70, still vastly outmatch the HEDPM on the ship. Like, even Z39 has something like, what, 30% more HEDPM. So, the only ships that I could compare in which tier this damage output fits is tier 1. Um, the 51k HEDPM fits really well into tier 1, because tier 1 ships have roughly 44 to 58,000 HEDPM. So uh, the Z31, it loses to ships like Bougainville, Hermeline and Eritrea, because these tier 1 ships, they have 53, 54 and 58,000 HEDPM. But it does beat tier 1 ships like Hashidate, Chengan and Black Swan. It actually has better HE than these ships. So roughly tier, a, tier 1 in terms of HE damage output. It does of course have the advantage of having better pen than they do, at having 38mm of pen, but when your damage output is literally tier 1, <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're not doing any damage whatsoever. On the other hand, you do have access to torpedoes, which you can see me admiring here, and <laughs> <laughs> so stupidly slow. Uh, I'm actually sitting here laughing at these torpedoes because I can't believe just how incredibly slow these things are. These things do 50 knots. And if you're hoping that these torpedoes will do a lot of damage because they do 50 knots, you're going to be, going to be very mistaken. These do 13.7k damage. They do have a 10 km range, but when you do 50, 50 knots, they are ridiculously easy to dodge. In fact, at max range, you have to predict where the enemy ship is going one minute and ten seconds in advance. That's how long it takes for your torpedoes to reach the target. And for some reason, they gave the torpedoes a 120 second reload. What this translates to is a torpedo DPM of roughly 54,800. That is basically the max damage output your torpedoes can do. And, as you can probably guess, this does not make you competitive at Tier 7. Now, this makes you fit roughly into Tier 3. Bakatake does 56,000 torpedo DPM, Thraruang does 59, and the Campbelltown, Campbelltown does 68,000 torpedo DPM. But keep in mind that your 50-knot torpedoes are actually slower 
than all tier 3 torpedoes. In fact, tier 3 torpedoes on average do 51 to 57 knots. So your 50 knot torpedoes are slower than tier 3 torpedoes and your damage output is generally tier 3 in terms of torpedoes. And then finally we have the great selling point, which is of course the AP. You have improved pen angles um, and you have some good pen. Uh, it's I think it's slightly better than Nuremberg. Ooh, but of course you only have four guns and these four guns have a eight second reload. So <laughs> what this translates to is, well, if you're shooting broadside ships, broadside destroyers, you often get overpens. So they actually have to angle a bit for, for the AP to be effective. So most of the time you're just overpenning destroyers. But, and sometimes you struggle with things like dreadnoughts because you end up just getting a lot of shatter. So the damage output is <laughs> incredibly debatable. But let's say all the stars align and you somehow manage to get the absolutely optimal AP damage output, then your AP DPM is 111,000. That's roughly tier 5 AP DPM. Um, the Hill does 113, the Nicholas has about 108,000 AP DPM. Uh, I tried to compare it to tier 6 destroyers, but you just don't fit at all, because T61 has 180k AP DPM, Farragut has 158,000, Gaede has like 141,000, so uh, the 111,000 AP DPM roughly fits in the tier 5. So in terms of damage output, your HE is tier 1, your tier torpedoes are tier 3, slower than the rest of the tier 3 though, and your AP DPM is roughly tier 5. You're the slowest tier 7 destroyer, um, you do, however, have um, a, a, lot, a bit more health than the rest, so you're easier to farm for the enemy ships. That, that seems to basically that seems to basically be what you have to offer. You're stuck with the terrible German smokes. These are the worst of the bunch, and you only have three of them. Your detectability in general, air detectability is 3.2, which is obviously horrendous. Uh, because the gun caliber is large, your smoke firing penalty is 31. The ship in general is quite large. If you're hoping to have any sort of AA, keep hoping. You don't have any flex whatsoever, you just have continuous AA damage. This ship is unique in the sense that it is absolute trash at everything it does. I, I haven't actually previously played a ship that manages to be complete garbage at everything. Even fighting, like, even getting full broadsides on light cruisers, the <laughs> damage output is so anemic even if you score full citadels on them. Like, I, I, yes, I've killed ships like Ashores, and you see me kill ships uh, in this commentary that we're watching, but the level of effort that you put, have to put in compared to not just other tier 7 destroyers, I'd say I'd rather play a tier 5 destroyer in tier 7 matchmaking than I play the Z31 uh, like as a top tier. I feel like I can do more things in a tier 5 destroyer than I can do in this thing. The damage output is terrible. The H, like if the angle end you have to use your HE, we're talking tier 1 HE. And keep in mind they also nerfed the fire chance. So it actually used to be 12% 12, 12 fire chance but they nerfed it to 8%. It's such a steaming pile of garbage that uh, like, I, I, I don't even know. I don't know where to put it. Uh, it, it, is, it is unique. I will say it is unique because it is a ship that I find completely incapable of achieving anything. Like, if fighting other DDs is a struggle. Fighting cruisers is <laughs> obviously a huge struggle. Fighting BBs, well, they basically have to be completely brain dead creature corps. And even YOLO them isn't really that much fun because, once again, you're so damn slow and detection of 6.3 isn't exactly anything amazing. You see me trying to shoot a light cruiser Helena here with this AP and <laughs> the reload, the damage output, it's... You, you still end up with these overpens, then you have to wait 8 seconds and you end up with some more overpens. If you get an occasional pen, you're basically celebrating, hooray, we actually did some damage. This is probably one of the worst chips I have ever played. And considering I've been playing this game for something like 5 years, that is actually an achievement by Wargaming. I'm not surprised this achievement happened to come just perfectly for new German ships. Um, 
hardly surprising. They have a, <coughs> a bit of a tendency to pull this off. But holy crap, this thing is terrible. That was four HE shells and a full perfect four again. 1.6k every 8 seconds. Luckily I am juking all the shells he's throwing at me and I'm juking all the shells of his teammates and 1.3 because the French saturation. No, actually I just landed 3 shells. Any other destroyer would have killed this Vaqualin basically an hour ago. The, the sheer amount of effort, the sheer amount of juking, the sheer amount of work you have to put in just to pick up something as simple as a dude who sails straight by you and grounds is baffling. Absolutely baffling. EA, once again I mentioned no hopes to hold here. I am told that the line does get marginally better later, but as I haven't played the later ships, so far my first impressions of this German destroyer line is this Z31, and it is undoubtedly the worst destroyer um, at tier 7. Probably the worst destroyer at tier 6, easily. Uh, Possibly the worst destroyer tier 5 as well. I'm trying to think like what tier 5 destroyer would actually have less of an impact. Um, it is complete trash, but on the flip side, you do have the ability to make your opponents feel better about themselves. Like, um, it's not every day, for example, a Yudachi can just reverse towards you and outgun you just using his back guns. Uh, you get these new fresh experiences of what it feels like to play the worst ship in the game. Truly, uh, an impressive feat. And I would say more evidence that no one in Wargaming is actually playing these ships anymore. Because if someone was, were actually playing these ships, this thing, this abomination, this basically miniature war crime wouldn't exist. Anyway, um, the build is... well, it doesn't matter what you build on this thing, it's still gonna suck, so who cares. Uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it.